Hey there, Taurus, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of April 2023, and we're going to take a look at past, present, and near future energies. Also, Taurus, please remember, if this reading resonates and you'd like to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. All you have to do is send me an email. And of course, if you enjoy what I do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Link for donations is below, and any amount is greatly appreciated. Okay. Hmm. Now, Taurus, I'm going to say these are your energies because um, this is your reading. This may very well be your person's energy. So take it as it resonates. You are showing up in your power in the current situation. So, okay. Overall, your energy is pretty good this month, which isn't surprising because I know a lot of you have birthdays this month. So the main energy for your reading this month is the chariot. You're moving in a very, very, very positive direction. This move is also divinely guided. It's divinely inspired. Um, and things are happening really, really quickly for you. Now, I don't know if this is a relationship reading. I don't know if this is a overall energy reading. We'll see when we clarify. In the recent past, you get the four of pentacles, the two of swords and the emperor. You're kind of holding back here, Taurus, because you're confused. There's something that you're unable to make your mind up about. You're very confused. You're up in your head about it. You're really spending a lot of time thinking. But despite everything, you are still in control. <clears throat> I feel like you're having a hard time. Well, I don't know if you can see, but the, <clears throat> the sun is playing peekaboo with the clouds. As I'm saying this, the sun is shining. The sun goes away. <laughs> but anyways, um... You're still very much in control. I don't feel like you're accessing your emotions very much. Again, you are closed off. You are kind of keeping everything within. But I don't feel like this is necessarily um, affecting your ability to be in control or your sense of control. Um, so I like that. Now, in the current situation, you get the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Empress. Emperor, Empress, same row. Here's the thing. There is something that you and somebody else can't see eye to eye on. Now, this could be somebody else or this could be an internal conflict within yourself, but you're still evaluating and assessing what to do. How do I move forward? What should I take? Like, what action should I take? But again, you are focusing on yourself. You are prioritizing yourself. You're making sure that every decision that you make is not coming from a place of fear or insecurity, but rather power, right? Um, internal power, you truly being true to yourself. And I like that because that's when the best decisions are actually made. In the near future, you get the five of pentacles, 10 of wands, nine of pentacles. I do see an energy of loss here in the near future. Um, it's a little bit difficult for you, but again, through everything, Taurus, you are prioritizing yourself. It's like whatever's going on, I can handle it because I have me. Right. And it's not just like, oh, you know, this is I'm having such a hard time. There is difficulty. It's not that this is like, you know, easy peasy, but you're able to go through it with ease almost because you're so focused on yourself in the best possible way. So let's take a look at the main energy for your reading this month, which is the chariot. The chariot is clarified by the eight of wands, knight of wands, three of cups. Yeah. So this is a relationship reading. What I do see here is somebody's coming in and they're very intense. They're very passionate. They're like Taurus. It, it's kind of like a whirlwind. They're coming in. They're like Taurus. I miss you. I want to reconcile. I can't stop thinking about you. And it's not just like energetically. This person is actually communicating this to you. They're verbalizing this to you. And they're showing me here. It's like literally they come in like a bat out of hell. They come out of nowhere. And you're like, what the heck? Where did you come from? And their energy is pretty intense. They're like, I've missed you. I've thought about you. I want to come back to you. I want us to get back together. Like, and they're talking. They're really, really talking. But for some reason, you're not buying it. You're kind of looking at this person like, eh, you know, it's, it's nice to hear what you have to say, but eh? it's that kind of an energy. So let's see. Let's take a look at the four of pentacles for you in the recent past. Ooh, well, that's intense. The Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Death, the Tower, and the Devil. And that's my neighbor. I don't know if you can hear their dog. Um, 
pretty intense. There was an ending here. It was a very difficult ending. It was very destabilizing for you. It really threw you off. It came out of nowhere. And you're showing me like I took this ending. Like it was pretty intense. It was painful. Um, some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio, a Capricorn. Those are showing up strongly here. Um, it's for all signs though. I do see that this ending, whatever it is that ended was pretty intense. It's literally like you felt like the ground upon which you stood just completely dissolved. It was very destabilizing. It really came out of nowhere. But Taurus, you need to keep in mind <clears throat> in the recent past that this ending came about because whatever ended was not stable. It was not sustainable. It could not have continued um, the way it, it was basically conducting or the way that it was. And you're showing me the two of swords at the bottom of the deck and you get the two of swords again um, in the recent past. So let's clarify the two of swords for you in the recent past. Two of Swords is clarified by the Four of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, which you get again in the near future, and the Queen of Wands. You're a little bit confused here because on the one hand, you're unhappy, right? This ending is pretty painful. It's pretty difficult. But on the other hand, you're kind of like, well, you know, every cloud has a silver lining because now I get to focus on me. And it's literally like you immediately shift into this, pardon my French, bad B energy <clears throat> where you're like, you know what? I know who I am. I know what I bring to the table. I'm amazing. I'm incredible. Not only can I take care of myself and give myself everything that I need, I mean, freaking look at me. Like, hello, I am this radiant, magnetic, attractive goddess, and I don't assign gender to my cards. Goddesses, men, women, whatever. Um, it's a little difficult for you, though, because you are showing me like, yes, I feel all this, but I'm also still unhappy because this ending sucked, right? You like stability. You don't like things changing on you so um but i don't see you i don't see heartbreak i don't see sadness i don't see anxiety so overall it seemed like whatever ended you dealt with it pretty well let's take a look at the emperor here in the recent past emperor is clarified by the king of pentacles the ten of wands and the ten of pentacles yeah Again, you're showing me that you're very much in control, right? Um, and despite the fact that, you know, things ended, you do still see a future with this person. You do still, like, at some point, that, that whole vision that you had of I'm going to have a long term with this person, that hasn't gone anywhere. Just because things ended doesn't mean that, like, you know, the feelings you had, the idea of this could go the distance has gone anywhere. So that's a little bit difficult for you. But you're showing me, look, I had to prioritize myself and I had to take my emotions out of whatever decision I needed to make because this person was so stubborn. They were so set in their ways. They wouldn't budge. They wouldn't move. And so eventually it came to the point where it's either what they want or what I want. And I prioritize myself, which you did, Taurus. Um, but it's still a little difficult for you. It doesn't take away from the fact that, you know, you still have feelings. You still have this idea in your head of, okay, this person could have been the person for me long term. Um, but you really, really did put yourself first here. Let's take a look at the current situation. I want to clarify the seven of pentacles for you in the current situation. Seven of pentacles is clarified by the five of wands, which you get again immediately after this in the current situation, the nine of wands and the page of swords. You're evaluating and assessing something here. Now I do see, you know what? Let me clarify the five of, of wands because you're showing it to me twice and then we'll get a better idea of what this conflict is all about, whether it's within yourself or it's with another person. Okay, <clears throat> and you get the seven of pentacles. So seven of pentacles clarified by the five of wands, five of wands clarified by the seven of pentacles. Love it when the cards just repeat that way. Um, so essentially this conflict here is between you, what you truly feel inside, and your logical ability to make a decision. So what I mean by that is you're showing me, look, I'm conflicted. I have these feelings. I have these energies where it's like, you know, whatever ended was pretty intense. It was pretty deep. It was pretty meaningful. But then I have my logical side, which is coming in and telling me, Taurus, you have to prioritize yourself. Put the difficulties aside. Set your emotions aside. You need to put yourself first. And I do see you still kind of flip-flopping in the current situation. 
what you're evaluating and assessing here, right, is whether or not you handled this whole conflict correctly, whether you listened to the correct part of yourself. Because it seems like here you listened to your mind and your higher self, which was telling you, hey, focus on you. Don't prioritize this other person as much. Don't prioritize the feelings you have for them. You're showing me, did I make the right decision? Now, part of you is like, of course I made the right decision. Why are we even having this discussion with, with myself, right? The other part of you is coming in and it's like, well, did you though? It's kind of trying to poke holes in the decision that you made. Um, so it's, it's throwing you, well, I'm saying it, but you're the one that's throwing yourself for a little bit of a loop here because there's some confusion. Let's take a look at the Empress here in the current situation. Empress is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, what's messing with you right now, Taurus, is the fact that you still have emotions for this person. And you know, because obviously they've articulated it, that they still have emotions for you. And so you're showing me back to the Seven of Pentacles. You're really spinning yourself into a tizzy here thinking, did I make the right decision? Because I do see you choosing yourself and, you know, despite this ending, you prioritize yourself in the recent past. Now, in the current situation, you're coming in and you're like, but I still have feelings for this person. They still have feelings for me. And you can't stop thinking about it. You're thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and overthinking. Did I make the right decision? Should I have focused on that? Should I have done this more? Should I have given them more? Should I have talked more? Blah, blah, blah. Get out of your head. Just get out of your head, okay? You're messing with yourself here, Taurus. Let's take a look at the near future. I want to see what this Five of Pentacles is in the near future. Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Swords, Two of Cups, Five of Swords. In the near future, you're showing me, look, this connection is done. This relationship I was in, it's done. It's put to bed. I'm over it. Like I'm, I'm not even longing for it anymore. I'm completely healed from this ending. I don't feel the pain of the loss. I don't feel the pain of the separation. This connection is done. It's done. I don't fully believe you though. I do see that you are again over it, but you're kind of like, I'm a hundred percent over it. This is completely in my rear view mirror. Whereas like, I feel like in the near future, you're still dealing with it a little bit. I don't, Again, what I don't see here, Taurus, is pain. I don't see pain, anxiety, heartbreak, anything like that. It's more so like you messing with yourself and questioning your own decision in the current situation and in the near future, you telling yourself, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. When it's like, okay, yeah, you are done, but it doesn't mean that just because you're done, you're 100% over it, right? Like be patient with yourself. Give yourself some time to truly get over this. Let's take a look at the Ten of Wands in the near future. Ten of Wands is clarified by the Chariot, which you got as the main energy for your reading, the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Cups. It's a little bit hard for you because I see this person still wanting to come back, right? They do want to come back. They are communicating that to you. And you do want a new beginning in love with them. You guys both want the same thing. But the thing is, you don't want to want this because... For whatever reason, whatever ended in the recent past, them being stubborn, them being difficult, whatever the reason is that caused this very difficult ending between the two of you doesn't seem to have changed. And you're showing me, yeah, my feelings want a new beginning here. I want a new beginning here. And I hear everything you're saying and I love hearing what you're saying, but I don't want to want this because the reason that we broke up has not been resolved yet. Let's take a look at the nine of pentacles for you in the near future. Nine of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands. Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. You're focused on yourself. You're crystal clear here on the fact that you are prioritizing yourself, what you need, what you want, what makes you feel good, right? And I do see this other energy, this person. It's He's not he, she, I don't know, like maybe they just embody masculine energy. They're not letting you go. They're not releasing this. But again, remember how in the current situation, you're very like, did I make the right decision? In the near future, it becomes clear to you that you did make the right decision by prioritizing yourself, by focusing on yourself, and by focusing on your needs and your stability over necessarily the emotions that you had. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind, Taurus. Taurus. 
from the universe, you get the Page of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Devil. Yeah, the love is still there, right? The love is still there, but you're showing me I'm not doing anything about this love that we still feel for each other because you open the reading with the devil and you close it with the devil. Whatever caused this ending, whatever unhealthy behavior brought about this ending, whether it's yours, your person, etc., that is still there. And I cannot move forward with this love. We cannot have a new beginning in love, right, until this is addressed. So Taurus, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading resonated and gave you clarity. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you here on the next one.